Yo, what is up guys, Boris here. Now, if you guys didn't know, a few months ago, they announced a brand new One Piece project, and this was supposed to be an unprecedented game that hadn't been done before. It was codenamed Project Dawn, and it was supposed to be a collaborative effort between Bandai Namco Entertainment, One Piece Anime Studio Toei Animation, and One Piece manga publisher Shueisha. So pretty much, it was gonna bring together all three of the big branches of One Piece, to work together on this one game that something that had never been done before on top of that one piece author Ichiro Oda was confirmed to be contributing in some way to the development of project dawn so this was something that got one piece fans really excited and everyone started to wonder what this was going to be especially since it came with a special preview image of what looks to be the holy city of Marijoa under siege by some mysterious figure we don't know who it is some fans were speculating that it could have been monkey d dragon other fans were speculating that it could be a completely new character who knows but this got fans really really excited now just a few days ago we got a new article that was detailing who exactly would be working on the project we have shueisha's uh, game director suzuki yuji we have media manager uh, Sugita Suguru, sorry if I'm messing up the names. Uh, we also have Bandai Namco's game manager as well. So we have a game director from Shueisha, game manager from Bandai Namco, uh, Nakajima Koji, and Toei Animation's anime producer, uh, Koyama uh, Hiroki. So we have pretty much, like I said, the three branches of you know all the One Piece products coming together. We have some of the best of the best guys coming together to work on this Project Dawn game this one piece adventure game and we're really excited to see what it's going to turn out to be and of course like i said ichiro oda himself is helping out with the project so we want to see what exactly is going to be uh the pro the culmination of all this now the reason i'm making the video today is because we got some first uh the first leaks pretty much the first scan for the game was released um the game is called the one piece world seeker it's going to be released for the PlayStation 4. And uh, there is, I believe, a placeholder site at the moment, but I don't think it really shows too much. Now, taking a look at the brand new scan, the first thing that pops up is the word Dawn, confirming that One Piece World Seeker was, in fact, the Project Dawn that was teased. So it's good to get confirmation on that. Also, you'll see Luffy is in the post time skip outfit, and he's doing various moves in the open world. So I'm excited to see how you're going to be able to do these moves, how many moves are in the game. Will it be easy? Now with a PS4 controller, a lot is possible. So I definitely think that they will take their time and make sure that these moves are show accurate. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. I think that's going to be a fun thing to explore all the different movement options. Like I said, this is an open world game. Will this be the Breath of the Wild for One Piece? In Breath of the Wild, for those of you guys who don't know, anywhere that you see, you can go to. It's, it's one of the best games of the year, and with all three branches of the One Piece uh, world coming together to work on this game, I really hope that that will be the case, that they will make this at least in a similar way to Breath of the Wild, seeing how popular uh, and how well received it was this year. The environment itself is a little bit weird, because it doesn't seem like it comes from the One Piece world, so this world doesn't seem as anime as other games have done in the past. But that's not a big gripe in my opinion, as long as the game is fun and the environment is explorable. That's all that really matters to me. There's a big ocean though in the poster. So does that mean that we'll be able to board this, the Sunny and maybe do battle at sea? Will the Sunny be used as a fast travel mechanic? I'm not too sure, but that's something that we'll have to wait and see in the future as well as will there be more playable characters it's a one piece game so of course we're gonna play as luffy but hopefully we can play as other characters that's at least what i'm hoping for also keep in mind that the world seeker uh, title has been trademarked for the eu and for the us so we're definitely will be getting this game at some point question is will be will we be getting it after japan like normal or will this be a worldwide release if i have to bet i'd probably say that this is going to be just like always J jp first or japan's going to get it first and then we'll get a global version of it. But we'll have to wait and see on that as well. So overall guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that One Piece World Seeker becomes the first noteworthy game. And that I mean that it's, it'll hopefully be the first game that I can recommend to my friends who haven't watched One Piece. It's that much fun uh, and it's that good of a game that uh, anyone can pick up and play without uh, needing to watch the series. Although of course, there will be spoilers. So I'm not sure if you want to uh, 
necessarily show it to your friend who hasn't watched One Piece, but hopefully it'll be, uh, if not the first noteworthy One Piece game, definitely a noteworthy One Piece game. So with that said guys, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on because I will be covering more news of One Piece World Seeker as we get closer to the release date. And to be fair, we don't know when the release date is going to be, so this could be for a while. So with that said guys, thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you guys in the next video. And until then, peace.